Alright guys, welcome to my first vlog back home. Um, as most of you already know, um, I just got back home from overseas a couple days ago. Um, I was in Iraq for nine months. Um, not gonna lie, it feels good to be back home. Um, even with all this COVID stuff, I mean, I have to push back my trips to the Philippines and Vietnam and whatnot. But um, it, it's, I'm still glad to be home. You know, it's, it's really nice to be home. I um, mean, it is hot right now. Like it's only like nine or something. It's like really hot. But uh, yeah, I'm just glad to be home. Um, I uh, recently just bought a bike. Uh, I'm about to show it to you guys in a minute. Uh, the reason why I bought a bike is because uh, myself and uh, a lot of other people that I deployed with are suffering from PTSD. Um, there was a uh, certain events over there during the deployment that really affected us so um, I did do my uh, checkups I did go get seen and uh, I did get medicated but um, honestly I don't want to always depend on medicine you know that's not really good for you so I was uh, doing research on uh, some activities that you can do to help with uh, PTSD and um, surprisingly I found out that uh, motorcycles is uh, a good way to uh, self-treat PTSD as well as skydiving um, I guess well obviously skydiving is the uh, more effective option because it helps build confidence so skydiving would be the better option but uh, I plan on doing both so I got the bike first and then I'm um, gonna eventually go uh, try skydiving maybe even get licensed so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, the bike in a few minutes so all right so i got this little lock on here be too careful you know you gotta lock your stuff up people still you know especially bikes Right, guys this is it this is a Suzuki Jixxer 750 oh it does have the modes right there yep so this is a Suzuki 750 pretty nice bike so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this uh, up front then I'll uh, start it up hello what oh I'll go get it somewhere else. I got another paper uh, printed out. I got another paper printed out. I'll get, it, I'll get it from somewhere else. I need to go to the library anyway. <clears throat> no, I need to go to the library because for some reason, uh, Apple computers don't work on the military website to sign up for their course. Because I called them today and they referenced me to the website to sign up. Well, I'll try it. All right. 
right, so we'll go ahead and start it up. got the modes mode switch right here so I'm gonna put it in B mode in B mode SA so I got it in B mode so B mode B mode is basically uh it's gonna ride like a 600 but it's really a 750 and A mode is full power so uh, I got my gear on, as you can see, got jacket, it is hot, but you know, can't be too careful. So got my jacket, pads in, I got some jeans with the padding, and then my boots. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the GoPro on the helmet, which got the GoPro right here, and then I got the Cena. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that out. I ain't hit nothing. I can't move it, it's stuck on this thing though. Whew. Nah, I ain't hit nothing.
Yeah, I dropped it. I sure did. But, it's just this. Nothing major. A little scuff. It. <sighs> yeah, just here, this piece right here, but that's nothing. Yeah. And then that. That's about it. So. Minute. There we go. So yeah, I did drop it, but it's it's still good. <sighs> so I did drop the bike, as y'all can see on the on the GoPro. But I mean, it's nothing, it's just this. A little scrape. That's all. And then that. And that's about it. Some scrapes. So, yeah, obviously, I'm not experienced. So, I'm going to just keep playing around with it every day until I get better. So, um, but that's it. Y'all have a great day. And uh, peace.